All right, I've got a project today that I normally wouldn't set up the cameras for. This is kind of a simple, uh, you know, quick and dirty sort of a thing. But, you know, I've been, I've been 3D printing brackets, it seems like, for the last year. Uh, maybe once a week I'll, I'll come up with some uh, something to tackle some small problem. And uh, I'm just amazed at how quick and easy it is to draw something up in CAD and then be holding the part in your hand just, uh, you know, a, a few hours later. So I thought I'd set up the camera and bring you guys along. Uh, today I'm designing a power plug bracket for uh, one of my motorcycles. Uh, not in the shop talking right now because I got some computers running and there's uh, some pretty loud fan noise in there So you'll have to excuse that when I'm in there uh, talking, but um, yeah, let's go inside take a look at it I'll show you what I'm building Again, you'll have to excuse the fan noise in here, but uh, this is my Ducati monster 696 and I wanted a spot to plug in some uh, USB cords to charge uh, GoPro phone helmet intercom stuff like that. So uh, I, I didn't want to drill any holes or anything like that. So I identified this spot right here. This is where I want to put my power plug. So I got to look it on Amazon. I found this. Uh, at the time of this video, it was, I don't know, just a little over $10, maybe 11 or $12. And it has two USB-C ports that are PD rated. So uh, they'll quick charge pretty much anything that has a USB-C port. And then it has a standard USB-A port that is QC 3.0 capable. So uh, my Android phone will utilize any one of these to quick charge. Uh, my iPads and things like that can utilize the USB-C ports. Uh, again, it was pretty cheap, uh, hardly cost anything. And uh, has this weatherproof cover over it, has a voltmeter in the center. And it came with this little wiring harness right here. Now, I, I can't remember for sure. I think this thing said it was 60 watts. Uh, I will never be using that. I, I mean, a normal USB port is 2.4 amps, so we're talking 10 watts at best. These quick charge ones might be 18 to 20 watts with the devices that I'll be using. So we're talking a total of just a couple of amps at most that this thing is gonna draw. In reality, it'll be less than that probably. So I don't have to be too careful about the circuit that I hook it up to. So, uh, how am I gonna mount this thing? Well, I spent a few minutes and drew everything up inside of Fusion 360. What I did is a three-piece uh, part that I printed out in ABS, and it consists of a top plate, and uh, this goes on top of the bar clamp, and then a bottom plate, which uh, bolts underneath the bar clamp, and then the spacer here, which should prevent some bowing when I, when I tighten everything down. And these holes here, they're recessed for these number 10 screws. So the screws actually fit flush, flush with the top here. That way they're not protruding or anything. And then on the bottom of the bottom plate, I've got recesses for the nuts. These basically snap into place here. And uh, that way the nuts are captive in there and what makes it easier to tighten everything down. So let's uh, take all these parts right here and get this thing installed. front spacer was just a little too thick to fit there. You have to redesign and reprint that, but at least for now, this thing seems plenty solid. Doing some testing here, it looks like this yellow wire. Let's see if it's got another color on it. No, just the straight up yellow wire is uh, on the parking light circuit. So that's the one we're going to tie into.
Well, that should be it. Let's test this thing out. Let's test the parking light position here. Perfect. Alright, my work is done here. Bike's ready to go. Uh, it's a nice night outside, so I'm going to take this thing out and take it for a test ride. Don't really know if you need to uh, take a bike out for a test ride after installing a 12 volt power socket, but always looking for an excuse. So, uh, If you guys happen to have the same Woodcraft bar mount on your bike and you want to do the same thing, I always make my STL files available on Thingiverse. So search for Woodcraft power socket mount or something like that. I haven't uploaded it yet. So uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'm going to take this thing outside and enjoy the night.